Hi there, I'm Sue Hubbard. Um, I'm trying to record this again. I've been sabotaged a number of times with somebody knocking on the door and um, the phone ringing, so we'll have another go. Um, I'm going to read from my third collection, uh, The Forgetting and Remembering of Air, which was published by Salt. Um, the poem is um, set in Ireland on the wild West Atlantic coast. I go to Ireland a lot to write. Um, and there's, it's on the edge of Europe, nothing you can see except these two uninha now uninhabited islands. And um, the poem is called Balanskelegs. They come to me in dreams, Scarif and Deanish, rising like those islands floating in a veil of mist and Japanese prints, their peaks in a halo of cloud. Early morning, the sun casts rings of bright water, stepping stones of light out to the distant shore. Midnight, and the islands are sleeping, turned in on their own emptiness, as if remembering those ghostly lives gleaned on the barren cliffs, stinking of seabirds and herring. The air thick with turf and old rain. Now they've gone. They lie empty as picked crab shells. The battering sea splattering their glassy rocks with a spittle of lost tongues. Outside my window, the strait is moon streaked, silver as a hairline crack across an old mirror. It's as if I could simply rise from this bed and walk to that distant shore. Yet the night holds its secrets. To feel this flat blackness, where even the stars are hidden, is to understand what we cannot see at the edge of this visible world. The single blip of the lighthouse appears, then disappears every 15 seconds, its pulsing beam tracing an arc across the endless sky, a blinking cyclops in the inky dark, till suddenly it's morning and the sun comes up, streaks of blood red, leaching into the grey. The second poem I'm going to read, I'm afraid, is on my iPhone because I've run out of printer cartridges in the lockdown. Um, this is also written in Ireland and this is in my fourth collection which is due from Salmon Press, um, which should have come out in April but hopefully will now come out in August in these difficult times. Um, also written in Ireland, as I said, um, but in the Tyrone Guthrie Centre, which is a wonderful Anglo-Irish house in Monaghan, near the border. And um, the book is going to be called um, Swimming to Albania, and that's from Salmon Press, Ireland. Late. And even with all the forgiving, the being in this moment and this, following every tilt and shift of the world, the stillness of snow, the seeping grey dawn over the grimy sill, the curdy light of the city and its stale breathing. It's then I think of that dark lake, the trees leaning out over its black mirrored skin, fringed with the purple loose strife that grows along the edge of the slow-moving water and the bulrushes reflected in its anthracite depths. And imagine diving down and down into that icy water through duckweed and pools of green algae, water meal and water hyacinths, milfoy and hydrilla to be caught in tendrils of curly leaf pondweed. Then on, deeper still, 
past clasping leaf pondweed with its thin and delicate oval shaped leaves, leaves that are wide and wavy and coontail that lacks any true roots and a naiad and sago pondweed to where light ceases downwards with this cold seal body towards that lost thing, that special thing that I know is there somewhere in the muddy depths till I can no longer go on holding my breath. Thanks.